Hey guys, Dinky Dog Dog here, and welcome to the video. I am back. I'm really sorry that I've been inactive for ages. Um, I really wanted to get back to making videos for you guys, but I just couldn't really. There was a lot of things. I basically have an excuse for why I didn't upload in December, and then three months after that, I was just kind of stalling. But oh well, I've got loads of projects coming up for you guys. I've got a whole mini game that I've made, which is what I was doing in the whole of December, which is why I didn't upload. Sorry about the advent calendar video. Anyone that tried to keep up with that knows what I'm talking about. But, but anyway, that's not important. What is important is I'm back. I've got loads of new videos planned for you. And I have a microphone now, so you guys can hear me. I also have an Elgato, so hopefully I'll be able to just start doing videos on other games, but I'm not sure about how that's going to work now. But I'll update you guys on that later. But let's get to today's invention. So basically what I've got for you guys today is... Um, is my adaptation of a video, uh, an invention done by one of my good friends, he's called Zodiac Attack. Um, there will be an annotation to his video in the top left corner right now, um, so hopefully you guys can go check that out. Um, but yeah, so basically what he did was, he did this turn style thing, which is kind of what this is, and you basically walk across and the piston drops down, there was a bit of lag there so it looked a bit glitchy, but the piston drops down and it allows you to walk through. And uh, I thought that was all good, I should walk through the piston there because of lag. <laughs> it does look really nice, but I'm, I'm getting a bit of lag right now. Um, but basically, yeah, his, um, his invention was that. And uh, I wanted to change this up, and I wanted to improve it a little bit. So what I've got for you guys today is basically, a, it's like a toll gate. So uh, you could have this at like an entrance to a base or something, um, or like an entrance to an airport if you're building one or whatever. Um, but basically what happens is um, people go in and this won't drop down. This isn't lag this time, like it was poor. This won't drop down for them if they try and walk through. But what they have to do is basically go into this chest and drop a diamond in. And that diamond will go away and then they can walk through. Once again, I had a bit of lag there. But um, they basically have to pay a diamond. And once they've paid that diamond, they can't get back through again. They also can't get back the other way. It's a one-way turnstile. Whatever happens, they can't get through this way. Because um, obviously that's the point of the turnstile. Another feature of this, guys, is if I put, say, three diamonds in, because it's me and two of my mates here, then uh, I can put three diamonds in and prepay for all of us, and everyone can go through. So as you just saw there, I went through once, I went through twice, shouldn't have put three in, because this takes ages, I went through three times, but once all of my three diamonds have been used that I put in, I basically can't get through anymore, so I can't actually get through here. Um, I'm locked out by this thing and yeah um, another cool thing is you can easily change um, what you pay in um, so it doesn't have to be diamonds and uh, and I'm gonna display a cool feature with that now so guys here is the cool part so basically this uh, system is made to recognize any item at all so um, what that means is you can custom name the item so here I've got the ticket for flight A and if I just shove this in it picks it up and I can run straight through um, and that will open up and uh, it works just the same. It won't let me through twice It just lets me through if I pay so you can see here that I haven't paid so it won't let me through and if I just grab a random piece of paper right now um, You can't actually just get through with that. So you'll see if I just put that in there Did that work? Yeah, that worked. I can't actually get through so it only works with the item that I've given so if I grab Let's grab a redstone lamp and throw it in there just to prove again. It only works with the specific item I've put. And yeah, um, the really cool part about this, guys, is the redstone is pretty small. It's all um, below this level, this like kind of wall level. It's all um, three by three by, I think it's eight long. And that is pretty incredible for what this does. Um, so I'm not going to be doing a tutorial now. Um, if enough pe if enough people request it, can't speak today, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> if enough people request it, um, I will put a tutorial up uh, sometime. So if you want a tutorial for this and you want to learn how to build this, put a comment down there and I will post a video. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, once again, I am hopefully going to be back with loads more videos soon. I have loads of projects planned, including a massive, uh, massive... Thing I've got for my 200 subscriber special which I am really excited to release and um, yeah so thanks for watching guys uh, please like comment and subscribe and uh, yeah